Hi, my name is Barbara and uh, we are here today. We are going to create a fall mini wreath and for you to do this at home you will need to purchase some sort of wreath. You can get a uh, little grapevine wreath. Um, there's this type. This one has almost like a little basket in it. Um, Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Joanne Fabrics, any of the craft stores usually carry something like this. Uh, otherwise you will also need a hot glue gun and some glue sticks and either some silk flowers, dried flowers. Um, what we're going to use today is just stuff like from the side of the road. So if you live out in the country or close to a maybe a vacant lot, you might be able to find a few of these things. You will also need, if you have the silk flowers, you'll need a pair of wire cutters or an old pair of scissors. And if you just have the real weeds and flowers and stuff, then just a pair of scissors will work. And your hot glue gun and glue sticks. And then something to protect your table because you really don't want the glue gun to get the glue all over the table. So I wanted to show you this one I already have done. And I did use all of the, uh, I just used fake silk flowers and stuff on this one and used the hot glue gun and glued things down. And for the one that we're going to do today, I chose to use uh, just some things that you would find either in your yard, by the side of a road, or like I said, vacant lot, anywhere, just natural stuff. And so you can do this either way that you want. And all you have to do is just get a nice assortment. And my glue gun already leaked, so we already have glue on some of these. <laughs> and just figure out how you would like these arranged. Cut stems a little bit if you need to. That's why you need the scissors. And put a little bit of hot glue down and just start arranging your items. And I am going to glue this, put a second little bit of hot glue up here because I want this to follow the curve of my wreath. I don't want it to just stick out. So I hot glued it at the stem and also up here. And we're going to put another one in. And again, I'm going to put a second dot of hot glue and get the tip on there. And I'm going to do one more. You know what, I've got that stem a little too long. Let me trim that off. Fun thing with this is you can play with it, change things, and uh, just basically, like I said, have fun with it. Now these do have little seeds that are going to fall out occasionally. If you've got something on your table, it's no big deal. Really, I don't even know what this is. I'm not real good at what plants are called, but it has a little bit of yellow to it. So I, and I liked that. I like the bright in there. So we're gonna put some hot glue down, put one of these on here. Right now, this is what it looks like. And then I am going to start adding my friend Christina brought in some flowers that she had that were pretty, um, they're some, I think they're a straw flower. And the, they feel dried. So, but she says they're like this way all the time. So we're going to take and add some of these because this will make a really nice pop of color on here.
and I'm going to try to get a few different sizes. Just trim these stems off so that they will fit on here really well. Put that one right there. Yes, I need another glue stick. Stick that one in there. You can add um, ribbon, bow, anything else that you want to add. Um, when you're done, you're probably going to have to pull off all the stringies from the hot glue. Um, I think I will add just a couple more small flowers. Put one here. And one more. I like to use an odd number. I find it more visually pleasing. Um, you can do yours however you want. There. And I think I'm going to call it done. And there's my wreath. So um, thank you for joining me. And like I said, this is really, this does not have to be an expensive project because if you have a glue gun and glue sticks, all you really need to buy is the wreath and then just find some stuff uh, to add to it. Um, like I said, you can either use, buy some silk flowers, which can add up a little bit, or just go get some natural stuff and use that. Anything that you find that you like can probably be used on the wreath and all you have to do is glue it down. So thanks.